<laughs> I'm gonna put this on the top instead of this light mulch. Algae's really on there, man. Look at that little soft shell belly. This guy is mean. Oh! It has been non-stop vlogmas is on another level. What is going on crows? Welcome back to another video Day two of vlogmas. Haven't missed a day yet. Isn't that incredible two days in a row? Clap round of applause for me Thank you very much pat on the back subscribe like this video for more of my vlogmas Okay today I'm out back doing something I've wanted to do for a very long time and it's needed to be done this black bin that was right here You know the turtle bin I've had I made many videos on it It was right here temporary the turtles were sitting in like this much of water and it got cold last night I put something over it last night So it wasn't too cold for them and then today I'm remodeling it and it looks amazing Let me show you what I've done check this out <laughs> Bought some landscape at Home Depot the other day. There it is. Literally a perfect cat palm. Provides a little bit of shade, you know, nice coverage. I, 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 I like this too. That is flipping dope. Got the house right there, some artificial fern. That's the only fake plant right there is behind that. That is going to grow all up along this. So this is how far I've gotten. I re-landscaped the whole top there. I think the bark looks absolutely amazing. I have a lot left, but yeah, look at this. It looks very natural, especially when it's wet. You got the artificial fern just to kind of give it a cool look behind there but it is looking natural. Like I mentioned, this grows all over here, all up that wall. It's literally gonna grow everywhere and I can trim it to how I want it. We are filling up with water at the moment. I'm not putting any rocks in here because that actually holds places for waste to sit. So I'm just gonna keep this one stick in here with this that'll float at the surface so they can go on that. The sun, you know, comes over to like right here so they could bask on that thing and over here they could always hang out and chill. I have this because when the sun does hit this at all, that'll heat up and they like to sit on that. It looks so natural though i mean look at that that looks absolutely amazing the side neck is in there right now and the pink belly they're both you know how they like to stay in there i put all the other turtles in our pool pond for now while i was just doing this obviously it's only been like 30 minutes and they're all just walking around both snapping turtles are right there where are the rest there's an albino an albino another albino hiding back there behind that soft shell look at the soft shell all right it is time this water's a bit dirty all the turtles are just walking around in the pond over here i'm gonna do this top layer of i got like this bark instead it's like this thick bark i'm gonna put this on the top instead of this light mulch just like this kind of looks it looks good i don't know i've been giving random stuff a try and this is what i'm gonna what i'm gonna go with looks pretty good nothing crazy just a good layer of it Enough to where if the albinos did want to lay some eggs, they could easily dig right past this. The Malaysian box turtles dig through the slate rock at my mom and dad's and drop eggs all the time, so turtles could definitely get through this, that's for sure. This water too is 73 degrees, so it's it's much warmer. They're gonna be very, very happy tonight since we're not gonna have a front like that again. Their shells are so gnarly for being in that shallow water for the last couple of days while this was being built. So I'm gonna do a little scrubbing with the toothbrush. That's gonna be cool. We're gonna do that in today's video. Oh, he just dipped right back into his shell. All these turtles are gonna be cleaned, have a fresh enclosure. They're gonna be living the life here in just a little bit. So we're gonna let the hose fill up the rest of this and then we're gonna go on to getting the turtles, scrubbing them off to then be put into their new enclosure. We got a couple other things to do, of course. There's always things to do around here. But yeah, that's the plan for right now. Boom! Just like that, we have the entire thing filled up with water. And after flushing it out, I mean, I flushed this water out like four times to get all the mulch off the bottom using this pool net right here. It was a pain in the butt. That bucket in the pool net. We got it done though. We got it done. And the water is looking crystal, crystal clear. I need to put one of these filters on it for now, but the filter that is going to be running this will be running this as well. So, uh, the only toothbrush I had was my toothbrush. Bruh. I'm not gonna be using that again. So I'm down the toothbrush. Gotta go to both of like Walgreens or something after this. Oh my gosh, this is so nasty. Algae's really on there, man. It's coming off. We're making progress. It's looking good. Buddy's got a comb over, making him look nice and snazzy. Going out to the casino tonight, eh? Look at him. <laughs> the internet said warm water, rub gently because a turtle can feel through its shell. I've done just that, that's about as far as I can get without my hand literally falling off. Sucker bit me while I was doing it too. Got me right in the finger. Let's get our turtle in. First one going in, he's probably like, 
Mmm, that feels good. He's still got a good amount of algae on him. I really wish I can get it all off. Maybe I'll come back a different day and really scrub down, like scrub, scrub. But that literally itself took me 15 minutes. It probably would take me like an hour and a half. He's just chilling right there. So we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one is just as algae-ated as that. I tell you what, my hands are frozen. I've been scrubbing for so long. I scrubbed the other albino ones. It's, it's very hard to get off, a lot harder than I thought. So we're gonna think of a plan B. Comment if you have any other better ways to do it than what I was doing. That's what the internet suggested. So uh, yeah, let me know. Let's get the rest of these turtles in. There you go, bud. They all drop straight to the bottom. They're like, where the heck am I? He just released some bubbles and he's gonna pop out any second now. And there he goes. Walking around. Come here, bud. This thing's holding water. This pond's already holding water. This one I could not get anything off of. This was by far the hardest one to get the algae off. See you later, bud. You can literally see the algae, like the greenness coming off of as they go in. This guy is mean. Oh. Oh. See? He's mean, he's cool. Come here, soft shell, you have no algae on you. At all, actually. Look at that little soft shell belly. I had you since you were the size of a quarter. Here you go, buddy. See you later. Now I'm gonna get this snapping turtle. Put him right on the bank here. I ain't gonna put them in the water. I'm gonna get this guy, this mean one. Stop it. Ah! and put you on the bank. You both are extremely aggressive. He's going into the little hut, and this guy wants to bite the camera, jeez. This guy wants to bite the camera. It's kind of crazy that that's the only amount of turtles we have left in this pond. There used to be a lot more. Thankfully, we have our snapping turtles still, but we had a massive flooding. In my other pond, they used to be in a pool pond, it flooded super high. I had no drainage, similar to the little pond, what happened with the little pond, I've now learned my lesson, uh, and they actually escaped. The water was overflowing, they got out and probably went around the yard somewhere. I ended up actually finding the snapping turtle in my pool skimmer. I had made, I made a whole video on that. I found him in my pool skimmer a couple like months later, and now he's obviously big. He's going in the bushes. Look it, he's up in there. He's loving it. Come on, that's about as natural as it gets right there. And this guy is just hanging out. So they're gonna love this. I know the snapping turtle is gonna absolutely love the whole landscape. Still have a little bit of, you know, walking room. This guy looks like he might, he might go in the water. Is he? Yeah. He's like, oh, that feels good. And there he goes. But yeah, we went from having five albinos to now three. The other two did the same exact thing, escaped. Just a whole how do you do with these turtles, but I have now experienced what ways they get out and other ways where they can't get out. This little pond is all covered up, but even with the little pond, you'll see I have the plants in the middle because if I have them on the side, the little turtles will then crawl out onto the ground. They're, they're very, very sneaky little animals. This guy's up here. Chilling. I love when you can see their shell. They really, really show themselves. And you're going back in, aren't you? Yep. See you later, bud. Where'd that snapping turtle go? He's literally gone. I don't want to stick my finger. Oh, he buried himself. Look at that. He buried himself in the mulch already. Right through. That's his little spot. I would like to show you the side neck. You see the side neck shell? He's in there. He's deep, man. Staying away from that cold. I got a little mat place right here. And this, fella's is our outdoor turtle tub. Need to get more big turtles for it. That, or I'm just waiting for these guys to all grow up. I have this covered, there's a heater on it, and I have it covered to keep as much heat as I can in, although it's not like a, you know, thick cover. It's actually, you know, air actually flows through it. So I don't know how much it's doing, but it's doing something. Guess we can uncover it, it's daytime. All these baby turtles are in here. There's a lot of turtles in this thing. All you gotta do is pop one of these up. Look at all them turtles. So many up in there. All those are gonna get big, and then we'll go in here. But I couldn't be more happy with the way this came out. Gotta set up that filter now, though. Should I set up a filter or just wait? I might as well just wait, they're turtles. I can always clean this out again, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna wait. 
machine is here to touch up this side of the yard. After they touch it up, they're actually delivering. You said sod's coming tomorrow? Apparently, yeah, sod or something. It's sod's coming tomorrow. This is going to get done. Officially, this side of the yard is going to get done. As you can see, it's already pretty flattened, but with a couple touch-ups over there, a little bit of stuff over there on the back side, and then sod. This side of the yard will all be flattened out, and then a barn will be like a little three-stalled thing, hopefully at least. How many times have I said that? <laughs> That'll hopefully be built like right there. This is all gonna stay open, all sodded out, dock right there. You know, this will be filled up even more than it is already. It's gonna be nice out here, really, really nice. By the way, new tattoo, yeah. Y'all get so mad sometimes when I get tattoos. Well, some of you. I like getting them. I'm gonna get more. But yeah, this side of the yard is uh, gonna be complete. Finally. This month, a lot of things are getting done. We got the saltwater tank getting done, the backyard concrete pond getting done, possibly a barn this month, the side of the property be done this month. No more big projects after that other than landscape. I got landscape coming in this month. I could explain that real quick for you. Trees will line the entire property in the back, all along the side there, so we'll be blocked in kind of like the calooses up front that haven't grown yet. Where this dead tree is, is gonna be a big tree similar to that one right there. That'll go up, cover them a little bit, cover this enclosure. Another one like that is gonna be right there. That'll go up, cover the ducks, cover the pond a little bit, and then three trees inside this enclosure. I truly believe in building your business, and I say this because I personally, myself, I spend so much time, money, and put a lot of effort into this property right here. If I was just a lazy kid, I wouldn't have half the things I have today. So I push you, I encourage you to work, harder for what you want. If you want something, work for it, work hard for it. I bust my ass every single day for what I own today. And I thank you guys so much for coming along. Invest in your business. I've spent almost every dollar I've made on YouTube on this property right here. I wanna show you the turkeys, they're together now. They, I told you they move on their own. Look, this guy's still in uh, that enclosure with the goats, but this guy's in here alongside this guy. They, they, they're literally together. I haven't seen them fight one time. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the pigs that distract them from each other, but I mean, they hang out with each other. <laughs> Look at that beautiful animal though. Royal Palm Turkey. I've been cleaning up the yard a little bit. My older brother, we got all the junk off the side, off the grass. It's all on the side of the house now. Hey V. It's my girlfriend's cat. She's awesome. And she's gone. So we got that done. On today's agenda, we are going to touch up this side of the yard. I can't, I don't know where they went. I really don't. I don't know where the heck they went. Bradley! They're gone. I guess I'll pick up the camera when I find them. All the pigs are sniffing the fresh dirt. <laughs> you want a pile of dirt, huh, don't you piggies? This used to be a pile and they flattened it all. It is done, fellas, it's flattened out. I am going to get a quote here in just a little bit on what the sod's gonna cost. Love that, absolutely love that. Thank you so much for watching this video. It is Vlogmas, so I will indeed see you tomorrow. I'm trying to post every single day. Saltwater tank uh, gets done Sunday. It was Friday, but we had to back it up two days because we're still waiting on something to come in. So Sunday is the official day the saltwater tank will get done, then the video will go up Monday. Be ready for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe down below. Also, look at all these animals. Look at them all. So many animals in one spot right there. <laughs> Be ready for this concrete pond. That gets done the 10th. That date is set in date 10th. The video will drop the 11th. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And guess what, Kaferos? I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Make sure you drop a like for Vlogmas. Love you, bye. Every time.